This mass is being offered as thanksgiving. Sonia and Ragul family, Vijay and Raghavan family, Philippos, Shalini family, Varan and Lavinia for God as they celebrate their wedding anniversary. They offer this mass as, as thanksgiving. And for the special intentions, Ezron, Michael, Jeremiah, a baby, and conversion of all the sinners. And for the departed souls, Henry Hebragam, all souls in the purgatory, Mary Eric and Sheila Edmonds, Harry Vasant and James Manasseh, deceased souls of Sons and Edmonds families, deceased members of Fallavaram fraternity, Henry Hebragam. And let's also keep our own personal and community intentions for this Holy Eucharistic celebration. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and, and to you, my brothers, brothers and sisters, that, that I have, have greatly sinned, sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have, I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my faults, through my faults, through my most grievous faults. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, O Virgin, all the angels and saints, and, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray, pray for me to the Lord our God. God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Amen. Now take a walk with Jesus and tie the suffering and struggles in our own lives to our Lord's. Christ suffered for you, leaving an example that you should follow in his steps. The season of Lent is an invitation to meditate on the passion of Christ. Jesus tells us that if we wish to be his disciples, we should take up our daily crosses and follow him. The cross of Christ is a mystery of love. Christ asks us to unite our daily crosses with his cross so that our crosses will also turn out to be moments of grace. For Christ, the cross was the mystery of his lowering, total emptying and elevation. May this meditation on the path of the cross help us to transform us, unite us with the Lord and with our fellow beings with whom we carry our own daily crosses. The first station, Jesus is condemned to death. We adore thee, O Christ, and we bless thee. Because, because by your holy cross, cross you Lord, have redeemed the world. The author of creation is accused as a criminal. The one who came to save humanity 
is treated like a slave. Just a week ago, the crowd had acclaimed him as the king. And now they cry out demanding that he has to be crucified. The same crowd had benefited much from his miracles and wondered at his service for his people. But now, Jesus bears everything in silence. That was his way of accepting his cross. He was oppressed and he was afflicted, yet he did not open his mouth like a lamb that is led to the slaughter and like a sheep that before its shearers is silent. He did not open his mouth. I hear Jesus whispering to me. I was condemned to death 2,000 years ago, but you continue to condemn me in the form of caste, creed, and language. When you judge your brothers and sisters, you condemn me. Prayer Jesus, Lord, on several occasions, we misjudge our brothers and sisters. Give us your grace that we may not judge anyone. Amen. Have mercy on us, O Lord. Have mercy on us, O Lord. May the Holy souls Lord, of the faithful departed through the mercy of God rest in peace. Second station, Jesus carries the cross. We adore you, O Lord, and we bless you, because, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. The Savior, who came to lighten the burdens of others, who walked miles and miles, doing good to all, is now forced to carry a heavy cross. Was it because Jesus was a criminal that they condemned him to death? It was purely out of jealousy and of fear that Jesus would become a king. The executioners knew that Jesus was innocent, yet they scourged him, crowned him with thorns, and made him to carry the cross. Jesus knew that through his blood, he was going to redeem humanity. I hear Jesus whispering to me, My child, I accepted willingly the cross that was given to me, but I am overburdened today by your cross in the form of jealousy and evil thoughts, words and deeds. Prayer. Jesus, help us to overcome jealousy and evil intentions. Amen. Holy Mother, pierce me through. In our hearts, each wound in you of my Savior crucified. Jesus falls for the first time. We adore thee, O Christ, and we bless thee. Because, because by your holy cross you have redeemed, redeemed the world. The weight of the cross made Jesus to fall for the first time. Did Jesus fall on account of the weight of the cross? Or was it due to the weight of the sins of humanity that he fell? 
I hear Jesus whispering to me. My child, it was out of love for you that I took up the cross. The weight of the sins of the world caused me to fall beneath the cross. Yet the cross has become the source of grace for you. If you fall, you can still count on my love and come back to me. Prayer, Jesus, help us to acknowledge our sins, shortcomings, failures and weaknesses so that we may be renewed by your precious blood. Amen. Amen. Have mercy on us, O Lord. Have, Have mercy, mercy on us. us. May, may the, the souls, souls of the faithful departed through the, the mercy of God, God rest in peace. peace. Amen. Amen. Two eyes meet each other. Jesus had a host of disciples and followers. They experienced his wonder works, found consolation in his words, and felt healed and encouraged in various ways. Yet, at the moment of his suffering, everyone disappeared. He was abandoned by almost everyone. It was his beloved mother who accompanied him and strengthened him through her gaze. I hear Jesus whispering to me. My child, my mother's gaze consoled me. It was a gesture of encouragement. I want your gaze be one of compassion and love, overcoming anger and contempt. Prayer. Lord, help us to mold our hearts that our gestures become one of comfort and consolation to others. Amen. Have mercy on us, O Lord. Have mercy on us. May the souls of the faithful departed through the mercy of God rest in peace. Amen. God seeks help from his creatures. We adore thee, O Christ, and we bless thee. Because, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Jesus became weak, and he did not have enough strength to proceed further. Simon, therefore, comes to his aid, or rather, he was forced to help Jesus. As a human, he was exhausted but never gave up. As human beings, we all need the help of others in one way or other. Helping others, therefore, to carry their cross is a moment of grace. I hear Jesus whispering to me, My child, learn to become more human. You need to help others and receive in turn. Do not refuse any occasion to help that. Prayer. Jesus, help us to be generous and reach out to everyone without counting the cost. Amen. Amen. Have mercy on us, O Lord. Have, Have mercy, mercy on us. us. May the May souls, souls of the faithful departed through the mercy of God rest in peace. peace. Amen. Amen. Is there one who would not weep? Whelmed in misery so deep, Christ, dear mother, to behold. 
sixth station, a brave and compassionate woman wipes the face of Jesus. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because, because by your holy cross you have, have redeemed, redeemed the world. In Jewish culture, women were not equally treated like men. It was an act of compassion and bravery for a woman to go forth and wipe the face of Jesus with a crowd of men around. She had gone out of the way to help Jesus. One needs to have such softness of heart to see the misery of others and such saintly courage to go out of the way to help, hearing the cries of men and women in agony. I hear Jesus whispering to me, My child, do not turn a blind eyes under fears to the plight of men and women. Be courageous enough to raise your voice against injustice and to work for human dignity and honor. Pray, Jesus, fill our hearts with compassion, a sense of justice, and the courage to act, even in the most difficult situations. Amen. Amen. Have mercy on us, O Lord. Have mercy on us. May the souls of the faithful departed, through the mercy of God, rest in peace. Amen. Can the human heart refrain from partaking in the pain? The seventh station, the Savior falls for the second time. We adore thee, O Christ, and we bless thee. Because, because by, by your holy cross, cross you have, have redeemed, redeemed the world. Jesus, the Word, was made flesh, has faltering steps. It was this Word which was instrumental in creating the world. He falls to the ground, but he gets up and moves further, for he is the way, the truth, and the life. In Jesus' way, there is always the possibility of falling, but with the hope of rising again. For the one who is earnest about following the way of Jesus can never miss the right path. I hear Jesus whispering to me, my child, I am the way, the truth, and the life. The one who follows me will have the light of life. Such a person, although he might fall at times, can still get up by my grace and pursue the right path. Prayer, Jesus, let us never miss the right way. Let us always cling to you so that even if we fall or lose our way, with your help we may find the right way without delay. Amen. Have mercy on us, O Lord. Have, Have mercy, mercy on us. May the souls of the faithful departed, through the mercy of God, rest in peace. Amen. Jesus consoles the women of Jerusalem. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you because, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Jesus gave himself totally for others. He always got out of himself to meet others. Though Jesus was in pain and agony, he forgot about his own self and comforted others. These women whom he consoled are the representatives of the subaltern, the marginalized, 
the poor and the declassed these people are his primary concern i hear jesus whispering to me my child i want you to walk an extra mile for the sake of the poor the downtrodden the oppressed and those at the periphery then you will become my worthy disciple pray lord give us the heart to identify ourselves with the poor the needy and the marginalized with the same compassionate heart like yours amen have mercy on us o lord have mercy on us may the souls of the faithful departed through the mercy of god rest in peace amen Jesus calls for the third time We adore thee O Christ and we bless thee because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world By falling to the ground a third time Jesus has once again sanctified and consecrated the earth The blood of Jesus fallen on the earth has purified it of all dirt The earth therefore calls for conservation and for better treatment and sympathy and honor I hear Jesus whispering to me my child you have been made the responsible protector of this earth which has been purified by the pouring out of my blood on it you ought to conserve it carefully for the coming generations prayer lord give us the grace to be sympathetic custodians of this earth sanctified by the touch of your divine body so that it can be integrally handed on to the succeeding generations amen have mercy on us o lord have mercy on us may the souls of the faithful departed through the mercy of god rest in peace amen Jesus is dignity is denied. We adore you O Christ and we bless you because, because by your holy, holy cross, cross you, you have redeemed, redeemed the world. Jesus is stripped of his clothes. With the casting of lots they divided it among themselves. Jesus becomes the symbol of those who are denied their dignity. There are people who are ill treated and denied of their dignity even today. There are people robbing others of their human rights. The campaigns in favor of human rights always find reason in the person of Jesus. I hear Jesus whispering to me, "My child, take care that the human rights of each individual is protected." I want you to be my instrument of peace. Pray, Lord, help us to be conscious of the basic rights of others and enable us to be concerned about the human dignity which would be respected everywhere. Amen. Have mercy on us, O Lord. Have mercy on us. May the souls of the faithful departed through the mercy of God rest in peace. Amen. The 
11 station, Jesus is nailed to the cross. We adore thee, O Christ, and we bless thee. Because by your holy cross, you have redeemed the world. Why do they nail Jesus on the cross? Is it because Jesus extended his hands and touched the lepers, the blind, the deaf and dumb, and others, and healed them, or opened his hands and fed the hungry in thousands? For all his good deeds, he was honored with nails and thorns. I hear Jesus whispering to me, My child, give more than you take. Do not expect anything in return from anybody for the good that you have done. Do everything out of pure love and compassion. Prayer, Lord, help us to give generously without counting the cost. May we be able to love and accept everyone as they are. Amen. Have mercy on us, O Lord. Have, Have mercy, mercy on us. us. May the souls of the faithful departed through the mercy of God rest in peace. Amen. Holy Mother, pure sweet station, Jesus dies on the cross. We adore thee, O Christ, and we bless you, because, because by your holy, holy cross, cross you have, have redeemed, redeemed the world. The Savior who came to serve and save humanity remains speechless and lifeless, hanging between heaven and earth, struggling for his life. But his life was a fragrant oblation. He had committed no crime. Still, he had to suffer and die. He bore everything in silence. By his wounds, we have been healed. His wounds healed our wounds of sin and darkness. I hear Jesus whispering to me. My child, there are millions of people who suffer every day of hunger, sickness, and mental agony. Where my cross is, there I am, even when they do not explicitly acknowledge it. Try to reach out to them, then you will find me there. Pray, Lord, May we recognize the value of suffering. Enable us to unite our suffering with that of your suffering, and thus make them redemptive. Amen. Have mercy on us, O Lord. Have mercy on us. May the souls of the faithful departed to the mercy of God rest in peace. Amen. Jesus is taken down from the cross. We adore thee, O Christ, and we bless thee. Because, because by your holy cross, cross you have redeemed the world. Every mother in the world wishes her child to live long in peace and prosperity. What an agony for a mother to hold the lifeless body of her son in the prime of his age. Yes, it was God's will that she wanted to accomplish in her life. She had accompanied her son from birth to death. 
she was slowly attesting to the veracity of the words of the old man, Simeon, that a sword would pass through her heart. I hear Jesus whispering to me, My child, my mother was a source of strength for me. She was always sought the will of God, which became a lesson for me. I wish that all the mothers be like my mother. Prayer Lord, give us enough strength to execute the will of the Father. Only that will bring us true peace and security. Amen. Have mercy on us, O Lord. Have mercy on us. May the souls of the faithful departed through the mercy of God rest in peace. Amen. Let me Fourteenth station, Jesus is buried in a tomb. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because, because by your holy cross you, you have redeemed, redeemed the, world. the world. The author of creation is now buried in someone's property. He did not own anything from birth till death. He emptied himself totally for you and me. Though he was in the form of God, he did not count equality with God a thing to be grasped. He emptied himself, taking this, the form of a slave, being born in human likeness. I hear Jesus whispering to me, My child, why would you not practice the kenesis, self-emptying, which I practice? Why would you seek too much of possessions? Take care that you are not infected by greed. You should know that when you try to accumulate wealth and possessions, there are millions of people in the world who would go hungry every day and innumerable who would become homeless. Prayer. Lord, help us to share with others what we have. Let us be generous towards the needy. Give us the grace to find joy in giving, not in receiving. Amen. Have mercy on us, O Lord. Have, Have mercy, mercy on us. us. May the souls of the faithful departed, through the mercy of God, rest in peace. Amen. Now listen to the word of God. The first reading, a reading from the book of Jeremiah, chapter 18, verses 18 to 20. They said, come, let us make plots against Jeremiah for the law shall not perish from the priest, nor counsel from the wise, nor the word from the prophet. Come, let us strike him with the tongue, and let us not pay attention to any of his words. Hear me, O Lord, and listen to the voice of my adversaries. Should good be repaid with evil, yet they have dug a pit for my life. Remember how I stood before you to speak good for them, to turn away your wrath from them. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. To God. Your psalm, your response. Save me, O Lord, in your merciful love. 
Save me, O Lord, in your merciful love. Release me from the snare they have hidden, for you indeed are my refuge. Into your hands I commend my spirit. You will redeem me, O Lord, O faithful God. Your response? Save, Save me, O Lord, in your, Lord, in your merciful love. love. I have heard the slander of the crowd, terror all around me. As they plot together against me, as they plan to take my life. Your response? Save, Save me, O Lord, Lord, in your, your merciful, merciful love. love. But as for me, I trust in you, O Lord. I say, you are my God. My lot is in your hands. Deliver me from the hands of my enemies and those who pursue me. Your response? Save, Save me, O Lord, Lord, in your, your merciful, merciful love. Please stand for the gospel acclamation. Glory and praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Glory and praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. I am the light of the world, says the Lord. Whoever follows me will have the light of life. Glory and praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory, Glory to, to you, O Lord. Lord. At that time, as Jesus was going up to Jerusalem, he took the twelve disciples aside, and on the way he said to them, See, we are going up to Jerusalem, and the Son of Man will be delivered over to the chief priests and scribes, and they will condemn him to death, and deliver him over to the Gentiles, to be mocked and flogged and crucified, and he will be raised on the third day. Then the mother of the sons of Zebedee came up to him with her sons, and kneeling before him, she asked him for something. And he said to her, What do you want? She said to him, Say that these two sons of mine are to sit, one at your right hand and one at your left in your kingdom. Jesus answered, You do not know what you are asking. Are you able to drink the chalice that I am to drink? They said to him, we are able. He said to them, You will drink my chalice, but to sit at my right hand and at my left is not mine to grant, but it is for those for whom it has been prepared by my Father. And then the ten heard it, they were indignant at the two brothers. But Jesus called them to him and said, you know that the rulers of the Gentiles lord it over them, and their great ones exercise authority over them. It shall not be so among you, but whoever would be great among you must be your servant, and whoever would be first among you must be your slave. Even as the Son of Man came not to be served but to serve and to give his life as a ransom for many. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ.
brothers and sisters that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God Almighty Father. May the Lord, the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name for our good and the good of all his holy church. Look with favor Lord on the sacrificial gifts we offer you and by this holy exchange undo the bonds of our sins through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with, and with your, your spirit. spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, it is right and just. It is truly right and just to our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give it thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you will that our self-denial should give you thanks. Humble our sinful pride contribute to the feeding of the poor, and so help us imitate you in your kindness. And so we glorify you with countless angels, as with one voice of praise we acclaim. Fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and he entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Let us proclaim the mystery of faith. Let to the glory of the Father, that Jesus is Lord, that Jesus is Lord. Let all proclaim to the glory of the Father, that Jesus Christ is Lord. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and the resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation. 
giving thanks that have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis our Pope, George Anthony Swami our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Apostles, Saint Joseph, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coherent eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Jesus has taught us to call God our Father. With childlike confidence, let us say, Our Father, who, who art in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy, thy kingdom come. come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress. As we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the, For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. And graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will. Who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with, and with your, your spirit. spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take the sins of all the world. Lamb of God, you take the sins of all the world. Give us mercy and grant us all the peace of Christ. Lamb of God, you take the sins of all the world. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy, worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only, only say the word and my soul shall be healed. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and I unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
of all nature and all created things, above all wealth and all the ways of man, you were here before the world began, above all kingdoms, above all thrones. Of all wonders the world has ever known, above all wealth and treasures of the earth, there's no way to measure what you're worth. Crucified, laid behind the stone. Rejected and alone Like wolves Trampled on the ground You took the fall And thought of me Above all Crucified Laid behind the storm Rejected and alone Like wolves Trampled on the ground You took the fall And thought of me Above all Like wolves Trampled on the ground You took the and thought of me above all. Prayer to Saint Joseph, Hail, Hail Guardian, Guardian of, of the, the Redeemer, Redeemer, Spouse of the, the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mary. to you God, God entrusted His only Son. In you, Mary placed her trust. With you, Christ became man. Blessed Joseph, to us to show yourself a father and guide us in the path of life. Obtain for us grace, mercy, and courage, and defend us from every evil. Amen. Good evening, dear friends in Jesus Christ. And Father Nallayan is a very familiar personality known to us, rector of Siga community. Let us be grateful to him for he has given us his own time for us to ponder over on the way of the cross, passion of the Christ. And let us pray for his ministry and let us pray for his good health. Thank you, Father. Let us pray. Graciously hear the cries of your faithful, O Lord, and relieve the weariness of their souls, that having received your forgiveness, they may ever rejoice in your blessings. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with, with your, your spirit. spirit. May Almighty God bless you. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Mass is ended. Let us go in the peace of Christ. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. Turning back, no turning.
running back Though none go with me Still I will follow Though none go with me Still I will follow Though none go with me Still I will follow No turning back No turning back Oh take the whole world But give me Jesus Oh take the whole world But give me Jesus Oh take the whole world But give me Jesus No turning back No turning back Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.